the article entitled Finance by Bicknell Young, which can be found in the book entitled Collected Writings of Bicknell Young. Can you see that if you have a consciousness of failure, inability, and poverty, it is impossible to change the manifestation of these things from the outside, since consciousness will outpicture itself no matter what you do. Change consciousness. It is useless for you to try and think things into being. Do as Jesus did when he let the operation of mind take place. We see Jesus going through the simple steps of manifestation. He lifted his eyes to heaven and gave thanks. He had already disregarded the appearance and had let go of thoughts of how, when, why, and where, this being entirely out of his province. When we consider the conditions of life, we find it is sometimes impossible to bring into manifestation the desires of the heart. But when we come to surrender the thought-taking process, we discover that the power of God is greater than any and all instruments through or by which it functions. If you are under spirit, you are no longer under the curse of law. God power is entirely outside thought-taking. Being absent from the body and present with the Lord becomes a dynamic law which is workable in a very positive and wonderful way. It relieves the heart at once to know that the power is greater than its instrument of expression. The Father is the divinity of man, the I Am. The temple is the embodiment of divinity, the place where the universe is stepped down into visibility. The moment a thing ceases to exist in your consciousness, it cannot have a body or form. Jesus could do nothing of himself. Neither can you. Are you going to insist that you can and continue to struggle and fight with the manifestation, hoping to change something? If you have the consciousness of anything, it is eternal in the heavens and can be reproduced ad infinitum. But the thing that is produced is at the standpoint of disintegration. The reverse reasoning of this has resulted in man worshiping the thing instead of looking to the consciousness which sustains it. Draw nigh unto me, and I will draw nigh unto you. Take your attention away from the appearance and place it on me, with a capital M. If you desire to see the desert blossom as the rose. The excitement of manifestation will drop away as it becomes natural for God to be revealed instead of demonstrated. Would you be surprised if your prayers were fulfilled? Until it becomes natural and normal, no very great thing can take place. It was thanksgiving and recognition that multiplied the loaves and fishes to the 5,000. The less you ask for, the harder it is to get by reason of its tremendous affluence. Your poor vision of what belongs to you 
keeps you from having the abundance of spirit. A man with a consciousness full of troubles will find them wherever he goes. Without the consciousness of substance, you cannot retain the symbol. The motive back of thanks is the measure that counts. Thanksgiving, which brings the expansive quality into manifestation, is done from the sheer joy of the presence, whether you have a single thing or not. Whether you have been a prodigal and lost, what matter little things? They will come into place automatically. They cannot help themselves. Quote, I, if I be lifted up, will draw all men unto me is an actual mathematical law. It is wonderful, the rejoicing, not because of victory or things, but because of presence. If your joy is still on the outside looking for symbols, you are still empty. No thanksgiving. I will overturn, overturn, overturn. And so everything will be overturned until you find within yourself that which Jesus found within himself, the source of all. Your cross is your own consciousness of evil, nothing more. And it has been on this cross that you have nailed yourself all these years. You crucify yourself. At the same time, call to be taken down from the cross. It is up to you. The way Jesus stood before the 5,000 witnesses for lack gives us an idea of the confidence which is born of the recognition of the natural functioning of God. He lifted up his eyes to heaven and gave thanks. What is your move? Watch. If you grasp the idea, nothing is impossible to me, with a capital M, the Christ consciousness. Everything is impossible to me, John Smith. If you still have to drag the corpse of John Smith, the history of disease and sin and limitation with you, you cannot enter the kingdom. But you are now a new creature in a new universe, not an old creature patched up. When will you stop trying to get things and see the presence of God? The spirit of the consciousness of the presence of God is the source of all supply, not some supply, all supply. When you know this, you will not try to hunt for supply or a job, for it will be as much present in one locality as another. It will be wherever you are and whatever you need. You will find the presence of all where nothing is lacking. All these things shall be added to the unafraid one. There is but one now, why should you be afraid to accept the good here and now instead of waiting for the harvest? If you grasp the idea that you are not trying to change the outside, not trying to prosper yourself, not trying to find a job, 
you will see that the moment you have these things in your consciousness, the moment you accept in your mind the possibility of manifestation, at that moment does the manifestation, the natural outpicturing of the word, become flesh. Instead of wasting time trying to demonstrate youth and rejuvenation, we shall gradually see that to know aright this Christ principle, which was before Abraham, is life eternal. The former things have passed away. They shall not be remembered, nor come into mind. In the evolved state of Christ consciousness, it is impossible to look for anything from any other source than God. As soon as the spirit or mind is established as the only reality, the manifestation will take care of itself. When you are ready to let go of the limiting sense of personality with which you have identified yourself, you will see me, God. Let go of the idea that you are trying to make demonstrations and launch out into the deep. The recognition of the presence may appear to be a tremendous job because the human mind wants to try but the revelation is given whereby Jesus Christ is simple. It must be understood by the child, or it is of no use to you. It is recognition and then appropriation. Do you understand that leaving a material problem will accomplish nothing? If it is in your consciousness, you will reproduce it even though you go to the uttermost parts of the world because you take it with you. It was quite as impossible for Jesus, the man, to increase substance as it would be for you. It was the Christ which did this. In the new consciousness, which is within every man awaiting recognition, there is an instantaneous release as you realize the presence. The endless planning and trying to arrange things suddenly cease. The government will be upon his shoulders, the government of your life, and all is well. Be not afraid. It is I. Look, the fields are already white. Reap, you who read this page. Reap the fullness of life everywhere. When you come to the recognition of life everywhere present, not one thing shall be hidden from you. And there will be no place for sin, disease, or death, and you will find a new thing working in your members, which will be above both health and sickness, a new consciousness which is not the result of evil overcome, but which is the outpouring of spirit, which is of too pure eyes to behold iniquity. The healed man is perhaps better than the sick man, but he is still swinging between something and nothing. He will have to move up to the place of recognition and there abide in a state of changeless bliss. His ability will not be then to demonstrate the word but to bring the living presence of the word into visibility. This is your power, the ability to accept the good that has been prepared for you. 
Unlatch the latchets of your sandals. Let go human reasoning. Leave why, when, where. If you lose personality, let it be swallowed up in I am. Then you will lose all the human laws pertaining to that personality. It will be no problem or concern of yours, for it will cease to exist. Be still outwardly and shout for joy within until it shall shatter the walls of your prison. I have many hidden things to show you when you can be still. Right where you are is holy ground. I have only to be recognized to be manifest in hell.